There's something comforting about that first cup of coffee, the aroma and the boost of energy. But before you take that sip, there's something your brain isn't telling you. Imagine your brain begins with limited energy for the day. That energy comes from a molecule, or adenosine triphosphate, or ATP for short. It is used every time you think, move, read, or even chase the neighbor's cat. But every time your brain uses energy, it leaves behind a chemical called adenosine. This molecule fits into special receptors like a key and signals your brain to slow down and rest. When caffeine enters the body, it binds to the receptors and doesn't release any signal, preventing adenosine from doing its job. Without adenosine, the brain doesn't realize it's tired. Your brain activity increases and your heart begins to beat faster. That's why you feel more alert and focused. The brain keeps going and starts burning through energy faster than it should. Eventually, the caffeine wears off and all that built-up adenosine gets a chance to bind to the receptors again, flooding your brain with signals to slow down. That's the wave of exhaustion that hits higher than your school assignments. And it doesn't stop there. Your brain adapts by building more adenosine receptors so caffeine can't block them again. Now you need even more caffeine to block. But there's no extra energy left. You're running on leftover. Over time, the cycle leaves you feeling tired all the time. Not because you're lazy, but because your brain's been tricked into overspending energy it didn't have. Instead, we should build better habits, like exercising to start the day and eating well to keep going. So the next time you reach for that cup, ask yourself, are you charging your battery or just draining it faster?